Imagine watching the trophy of a lifetime vanish into the timber because your bullet dropped four inches lower than you calculated. That specific failure is the nightmare scenario for every American hunter. In the unforgiving world of precision engagement, gravity is the absolute enemy. The moment a projectile leaves the muzzle, it begins a rapid and terminal descent toward the Earth. To defeat physics, we require velocity. We require ammunition that travels so violently fast that it simply refuses to surrender to gravity. Today, we are breaking down the five cartridges that turn long-range ballistics into a point and shoot reality. These are the tools that allow you to ignore holdover and simply send it. Coming in at number five is a cartridge that completely redefines the concept of overbore capacity. This is the 6.5300 Weatherby Magnum. When the engineers at Weatherby released this monster in 2016, they did not just want to break records, they wanted to shatter them. They took the massive cavernous case of the 300 Weatherby Magnum and necked it down to hold a sleek point 264 inch projectile. This is not merely engineering, this is ballistic insanity. The designers essentially built a rocket ship for a bullet. Let us look at the hard data because the numbers tell a violent story. When you load this casing with a 127 grain Barnes LRX bullet, you are generating muzzle velocities in excess of 3,500 feet per second. Even if you step up to a heavy 140 grain option, you are still screaming downrange at nearly 3,400 feet per second. That generates muzzle energy between 3,400 and 3,700 foot-pounds. Why does this matter to the shooter in the field? Because inside of 500 yards, this round acts like a laser beam. The drop is so negligible that you can hold dead center on the vitals of an elk or mule deer and secure a clean hit without touching your elevation turret. This is the fastest production 6.5 millimeter cartridge on the face of the earth. While a standard 6.5 Creedmoor is struggling to maintain energy at distance, this Magnum is still accelerating through the atmosphere with contempt for wind and gravity. However, you must understand the cost of this performance. There is no free lunch in physics. The 6.5 300 Weatherby Magnum is a barrel-torching nightmare. If you push around this fast, you are eroding the throat of your rifle with every single trigger pull. Most users report peak accuracy fading after just 600 to 800 rounds. This is not a high-volume range toy. This is a specialized surgical instrument designed for one cold bore shot on a mountain in Montana or Wyoming. You will typically find this chambered in high-end platforms like the Weatherby Mark V Accumark. It kicks hard and the muzzle blast is concussive enough to rattle your teeth. But if you absolutely must reach out and touch a target with zero hesitation, this is your starting point. We cannot have a conversation about velocity without paying respects to the original architect of high-speed ballistics. Coming in at number four is the legendary 257 Weatherby Magnum. While modern shooters obsess over new cartridge designs, this absolute titan has been dominating the open plane since 1944. This was the personal favorite creation of Roy Weatherby himself. He did not just design this cartridge. He built a legacy on it. He took the massive brass of the 375H and H Magnum, shortened it, blew out the walls to maximize powder capacity, and necked it down to a 25 caliber projectile. The result was a cartridge that was decades ahead of its time. When you load a light 100 grain bullet into this casing, it leaves the barrel at a screaming 3,600 feet per second. Even if you step up to a heavier 120 grain load for better sectional density, you are still pushing 3,200 feet per second. That translates to roughly 3,100 foot-pounds of muzzle energy. For the hunter stalking pronghorn antelope in Wyoming, or a white-tailed deer across the windy flats of Texas. The 257 Weatherby Magnum is practically a cheat code. It was designed to ignore gravity. Between 400 and 500 yards, this round exhibits significantly less bullet drop than almost any standard caliber in existence. It delivers massive hydrostatic shock that shuts down the nervous system of medium game instantly. The trade-off is the price of admission. You need a 26-inch barrel to realize that velocity potential and barrel wear is a genuine concern. Now let us fast forward to the modern era with number three, the 26 Nosler. If the Weatherby is the classic hot rod, the 26 Nosler is a modern Formula One car. Introduced in 2013, this cartridge was built with a single mission profile, maximum speed with zero compromise. 
The engineers at Nosler took the gargantuan 300 Remington Ultra Magnum case, shortened it, and necked it down to 6.5 millimeters. The ballistics here are terrifyingly flat. This cartridge pushes bullets so violently fast that inside of 400 yards, you essentially do not need to calculate holdover. You simply place the crosshairs on the animal and pull the trigger. It is widely considered one of the most potent 6.5 millimeter cartridges ever mass produced. It is the ultimate solution for long range sheep hunting in the mountains where judging distance can be tricky. However, you are dealing with extreme overbore capacity. The throat erosion on a 26 Nosler is significant. You can expect a barrel life of roughly 800 to 1,200 rounds before your groups start opening up. It also requires a standard long action receiver and produces recoil that is noticeably sharper than a 6.5 Creedmoor. But if you need to deliver devastating energy way out past 500 yards, this cartridge is a ballistic hammer. Moving to number two, we have the undisputed big brother of the family, the 28 Nosler. While the 6.5 crowd gets all the media attention, the 28 Nosler reminds us why the 7mm bore diameter has ruled the hunting world for decades. Introduced in 2015, this round uses that same shortened 300 Remington Ultra Magnum parent case, but it is necked up to hold a 7mm projectile. This cartridge was designed to squeeze every ounce of performance out of high BC bullets. Enthusiasts often try to compare this to the 7mm Remington Magnum, or the 300 Winchester Magnum, but the truth is the 28 Nosler beats them both. It generates higher velocity and carries more energy downrange, all while fitting in a standard long action. Ballistically, it is a monster. If you load a 180 grain Burger 5 LD bullet, you are getting velocities hovering around 3,150 feet per second. That outperforms the classic 7mm Remington Magnum by nearly 200 feet per second. This makes it an exceptional choice for elk, moose, and mountain goats in wide open terrain where the wind is howling. It is also a favorite for the extreme long-range crowd ringing steel at 1,000 yards and beyond. The pros are extreme velocity and energy retention. It outperforms many 30 caliber magnums in trajectory. The cons are short barrel life, which is a reality you must accept. You are burning a lot of powder down a relatively narrow bore. Recoil is stout, definitely more than a 6.5 PRC, but generally manageable with a good muzzle brake. Top tier rifle makers are all over this round. You can find it in the Bergara B14, the Christensen Arms Ridgeline, and the Savage 110 High Country. And finally taking the number one spot is the 7mm PRC. This cartridge has exploded in popularity because it balances raw performance with modern chamber design. Developed by Hornady and released late in 2022, the 7mm precision rifle cartridge is based on the beltless 375 Ruger case. Unlike the older Magnums, this was designed from the drawing board for modern long-range shooting. It features a standardized match-grade throat optimized for long, sleek, heavy bullets, like the 180-grain ELD match, without having to seat the bullet deep into the powder column. We are seeing muzzle velocities consistently clocking in right around 2,950 to 3,000 feet per second with those heavy 180 grain projectiles. This gives you a supersonic effective range that extends well past 1,200 yards. That is not just impressive, that is ballistic dominance. It is a highly efficient design that solves the inherent problems of legacy cartridges. The key advantage here is the twist rate and the chamber geometry. Hornady built this platform specifically to stabilize those heavy for caliber bullets that buck the wind and retain energy way out there in the deep timber. While the older 7mm Remington Magnum often struggles with the long heavy bullets due to slower twist rates and magazine length restrictions, the 7mm PRC creates a seamless solution. It excels at PRS style matches and extreme long range shooting while simultaneously being an absolute hammer on elk and moose. It is the do-it-all solution for the hunter who refuses to compromise on terminal performance.